Well, this is what our snowscape looks like from overhead. This was earlier this afternoon. Our drone master or drone pilot, Joe Ostrowski, uh, he is part of the team here at WEIU. He's a journalism instructor. Went to Kiwanis Park today and also overhead views of downtown Charleston. It's just a little bit of what we're witnessing right now in East Central Illinois. Now we switch to our current satellite picture and you see what is happening with that snow that we had. It's gone out east. It will not be coming back. And we don't have any snow in our forecast for a while, although there is a little bit of a breakup of what we thought would be a clipper system. It could mean some very light powder for some communities tonight. Now our snow totals, let me step aside so you get the full picture. Champaign led the way on this Wednesday and Thursday uh, output of snow. Champaign with over a foot, 13 inches. Taylorville not too far behind, 11 inches. Decatur almost 10 inches. Here in Charleston, the two day totals were 4.5 and 4.0, 8.5 officially on the campus of EIU. At Effingham, eight inches even. Newton just under seven inches. Paris, six and a half and Sullivan just under six inches. Now, here's what's happening tonight, and here are uh, some of our concerns why we're under this wind chill advisory. Our overnight temperatures, one o'clock in the morning, we're barely in Charleston at double digits. We move things ahead a little bit. The uh, temperatures are down to four at that point here. And uh, just before sunrise or at about sunrise, our temperatures are hovering around the zero mark. We're going to have an overnight low actually uh, below zero as far as air temperatures. Now our winds, look at those. They'll be a big factor. Winds from the northwest at up to 20 miles per hour in the one o'clock hour. In the four o'clock hour, still much the same thing. And uh, Saturday morning at seven, we still have wind gusts coming out of the northwest. And now the wind chill factors. One o'clock in the morning, we are below zero. A wind chill advisory in effect starting at midnight and continuing until 9 a.m. This uh, will be in double digits as far as the wind chill advisory. The wind chill um, values actually minus 10 there and peaking at about minus 15. Again, take care of yourselves if you have to be out overnight or early in the morning tomorrow. Our wind chill advisory for almost the entire region. And again, that's in effect until nine o'clock. What else is happening? Well, let's take a look at tomorrow's temperatures. Beginning with sunrise, we're at about zero. 11 a.m., we're getting uh, closing in on double digits. 17 degrees by 3 p.m. and uh, 14 degrees by the evening. Look at that young lady with her dog. Uh, that actually is from Effingham. Her name is Mercy May Flock. She's with her dog Hazel, who is actually towing her on a sled. And that's part of a viral video in Effingham right now. Saturday, tomorrow, uh, warming sun, but it'll only get us so far, 19 degrees. Sunday, we're gonna be up to 31, mostly sunny. Monday, mostly sunny, but only 25 degrees. Our winter storm, well, we owe some thank yous. We're all in this together. Thank you, law enforcement and the road crews. They've been busy, state, county, and local. Our utility companies, they've been dealing with downed power lines at all hours. They're part of your picture. And everyday, ord everyday ordinary folks, too, like the professional drivers helping each other and the good Samaritans who are uh, uh, shoveling sidewalks, etc. It's um, been human nature at its best during these difficult times. And now we close with our seven day outlook. Here's what we have for you. Warming up a little bit for a little while, but we, we really are way below average still for the next seven days. A normal high for this time of year is 41 degrees. A normal low is 22. And we're looking at still about 10 degrees below average, but it will improve. Just give us a little time.